Okay, so this is kind of part two. But it again, when you're doing some nestabilities that uh, sit directly inside of each other, especially when you get to the, the ones that get into more than five, you're going to want to make sure you do every other one so that there's ample space between them because that way you can slide your finger underneath it and get to them. Um, so, and then it, it's good too because then you've got these extra little spots to put some of your smaller dies. And as, and I'll show you here, I have to write the, um, I gotta write the information on the back of this one. Actually, no, I already have it. So this one's ready to go. So I'm done with this one. But let me show you how I have, uh, like the motif, the Moroccan motif. Let me get to it. Here we go. As you can see that I have the Moroccan motif in different spots. And see, this one wants to pop out and I'll have to take these out. I gotta take the tape off. Again, that's why the reason why I suggest taking the tape off. But you have plenty of spots to put all of this stuff. This is a Moroccan motif. And when you get into um, which one's that's a Moroccan Moroccan accents. Uh, the borderline ones barely go across so that you guys see that. Um, so know that and just know that you're gonna have to make sure when you're putting your dice together, you can sort them by um, nest abilities or shape abilities it, it's totally up to you um, and then you can sort them by name brand by Sizzix there's a, uh, several name brands anymore out and they're coming out with more and more name brands which is good for us because then the, the price is going to drop now because um, I don't have the other system yet and I only have one with stamps this has plenty and ample lots of room in this thing I could probably put another three pack in this thing easy so you just close it back up, make sure these are out, and it's out. And I'm going to tell you right now, I, these, are, these are pretty heavy. This thing, and I'm not allowed to lift more than five pounds. This thing's easily right now, and you guys see the hooks? If you have, um, like the, uh, God, I can't even think, the pegboards, and you get ones that are strong enough, you can actually hang it on a pegboard. Or if you have long enough nails that you can drive into a 2x4 or metal 2x4, you can you can actually hang it this way or you can hang it um, through here so that it's up. But I can tell you right now with what I have in here, because they are magnetic and because of the metal, uh, it's a thin wafer metal, but with the, it, it adds up. Um, I would say, because this little Rosie here, see Rosie? Here's say hi Rosie. Okay, Rose weighs about 6 pounds. Um, this thing weighs more than rose. I'd say maybe about seven and a half, eight pounds. Um, so just know when you start looking at putting a lot in here, the weight will get heavier. Um, but um, I probably, I'm trying to get a couple of Timmies. Your thin ones won't fit in here. I have not tried the wafer ones. Um, I have a different sister for, a system for the wafer thin ones and the Sizzlix. I will share that soon. Um, I'm trying to finish up uh, while I'm doing my room and sharing and again, I vacuum finally, yay! But I am trying to get into where I can label all my boxes over there and then share the way I labeled everything so that you guys can see how I did it just from using photo boxes. The, the cheapest, the better, because you guys know that uh, Michaels will run sales on them four for ten dollars or five for ten dollars, and sometimes if you're lucky, six for ten dollars. So I highly suggest stocking up on the photo boxes, they are fantastic. And I'm going to show you how to do different ways from your stamps to your stamped images to your shape ability or your um, um, thick and your thin Sizzlix dies um, without costing an arm and leg. And just make sure you're stocked up on certain things. I'll tell you later. But there you guys go. Here was part two of the magnetic die storage case and how I do it with the art bin. And when I get, and again, there is another storage system when you have the stamps and the magnetic dies. Um, that's you can put a clear stamp on the back side. It'll suction cup. It is a total different system I think it's by crafters companion um, I'm pretty sure it is but I'm not quite sure uh, It could yeah, I think it is to be honest um, I've been doing research for a while So this is I only have one and I don't think I really need another one at least right now I know I don't because this is all I have but I have if I can get up this thing's heavy. I actually took you know the the um, lunch or the closet kitchen closet organizers and I painted them black to match but if you guys got a white system and get white shelves I have it and it fits perfectly inside if you guys can see that it's one of those under you know you can see where it hooks I don't even know if you can see that 
but you can see where it's just one of these little wire under cabinet shelves for um, for your kitchen and pantry and I painted in black to match my room so because I don't really like white white gets dirty but you know you can fit one in each one and then I have like my tape here but anyway there's my tip on how to organize your art bins and your magnetic dies thanks guys bye